You've probably seen the commercials on TV for all different types of sweeteners. And when you go out to eat, the choices at the table are overwhelming. Do you want the pink packet, the brown, the yellow? Well, here to help us sort it all out, the sweetener chaos is Dr. Will Clower of Mediterranean Wellness. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. Okay, so many choices. How, oh, my gosh. Why are there so many choices? Uh, there's a million choices because, as we all know, we're in the middle of uh, weight and health problems okay, that are yes. just massive and they grow year by year by year by year. And something that you and I have talked about before is that uh, we Americans eat about 140 pounds of sugar per person per year and it's a huge cause of those problems. Mm -hmm. And so people feel like if they have uh, artificial sweeteners or some uh, sweetener substitute, then they kind of get something for nothing. They get the taste without getting the calories. Right. Uh, unfortunately, the data are that, uh, this is from the Nurses Health Study, that people who drink regular sodas with all that sugar in it, they gain weight, but the people who drink sodas that are zero calorie right. with these artificial sweeteners in it actually gain more weight. Really? Yeah, and oh so my. it's equivocal whether opting for mm. the artificial ones over the n normal ones is actually doing anything. Okay, so it's <coughs> not an equal plus or minus mm, equation here. Exactly. All right, so let's talk about what makes them good or bad, starting with synthetics. So we're going to list uh, which ones are the synthetics. I think we've got a graphic. Well, that includes things like aspartame or NutraSweet, Splenda, right. saccharin, and sugar alcohols, and high fructose corn syrup. So there's the list. Tell me about uh, aspartame and NutraSweet, first of all. Which ones on the table are those? Aye, aye, aye. Just, well, the blue. So when Beautiful. you're at the yeah the coffee place, the little powder blue packet yes. is aspartame. Okay. And aspartame is a chemical that... See, I never thought of equal <coughs> as aspartame. Yeah, totally. That's what it is. That's wow. the brand name for the chemical, aspartame. Oh. And what aspartame does when it gets over 87 degrees Fahrenheit, mm -hmm. me and you, we're 98.6. Right. So when it gets over body to body temperature, okay. it breaks down to three things. Things, uh, formic acid, methanol, and formaldehyde. Oh. That's in that box. Oh my. The people who make it, I'm right, <laughs> the people who make it say it's not enough to cause harm. Okay. And they have data supporting that. Other people have data saying that it, it can cause harm. Wow. And there's like 90 known symptoms of exposure to uh, aspartame. Oh my. And so there's a lot of controversy about is it or is it not. But, and there's data on either side, mm -hmm. so it's a mess for us. What about the um, sweet and low? Sweet and low is saccharin. Saccharin's been evaluated for m since the 70s. Okay. At first they said it causes stomach cancer. Hmm. And it, it was, it had a warning label forever, but then there were other data saying, no, the experimental animals you use don't, it's, it's not a good experimental animal. And so hmm. they pulled that label. But again, it's kind of like there's a controversy mm -hmm. around it. All right, so then along came everyone said those are bad. Now we got Splenda. That's a lot better for you. Is right? It? Well, it's what is the tagline? It's made from sugar, so it tastes like sugar, right? Right. Do you know how you get how do you get sugar and make it zero calories? You know what you do? What? You chlorinate it. Ooh. Right? It's chlorinated sugar. It's chlorinated sugar, that which sounds is gross. Which is like saying pool water. Yeah. It's made from water, so it tastes like yeah. water. Don't drink the oh pool gosh. water. Okay. So we know that's bad. Right. Um, let's see. What's next? Sugar alcohols? You know, like uh, xylitol and okay. sorbitol. Yeah. If you've ever seen that, and oftentimes in candies, they'll have those. Um, there's The only thing that can be wrong with those is it can cause severe gastric distress for some people. Mm -hmm. You get uh, gross things happening and with your digestive system oh. that you so <laughs> if it's a bothersome for you then don't have it okay um, otherwise it that one's okay now this is kind of in the middle the Truvia yes is that good or bad Truvia and Stevia uh, come from a plant mm. okay. and it's exceptionally sweet and of the non sugar sugars this is one of the better ones oh, just because okay. it does come from a plant so I have it sort of as you go from artificial to natural I see that's uh, a good choice for okay, you. Okay, great. Tell me, let's go now to the natural ones. What okay. are the good ones? Are they all okay or what's the difference? Well, remember that, that 140 pounds of sugar we're eating per person per year? Yeah. About 80% of that comes from processed food products. Oh, so and it's not in that little it's, it's not teaspoon, teaspoon of sugar you're no, putting somewhere. No, not at all. Not I at see. All. Okay. So the white sugar that you see 
is just sucrose. Okay. And there's nothing, they, they slung all the good stuff out of it when they were processing it. Oh. There are better choices than that. Than just plain white sugar. Yeah, exactly. Oh, interesting, okay. And there are three rules to remember. Mm -hmm. Okay, write these down, ready? Okay. Rule number one, darker is better. Oh. Rule number two, darker is better. <laughs> rule number three, darker is better. I think I got it. When you look across the board, the darker the sugar, the more uh, nutrients it has in it, the more uh, uh, minerals that are very, very good for hmm. you. From white sugar to light brown to dark brown to finally something like molasses. Whoa, which is really dark. Yeah, uh -huh. molasses, if you look at the back, it has huh. about 20% of all the magnesium that you need in a day and potassium that you need in a day wow. in one single tablespoon. That's and amazing. if you have uh, high blood pressure, you need that stuff. It's got calcium and iron in it. Wow. It's the best Great. in terms of health uh, across yeah. the board. Darker's best. I got it. That's right. Thank you so much. Absolutely. All right, Dr. Will Clower with the Mediterranean Wellness and here to help us learn about sugars. You can also learn more from him at kdka.com slash PTL. We have a link to his website.